Chorus is an effect which basically came to define an entire era of time and music. Recently, it's been making a bit of a comeback, with classic chorus pedals being reissued with more modern functions and features, the Boss CE2 Waza to name an example. But another one of those classics is this, the way huge Blue Hippo analog chorus and vibrato. Now, chorus isn't an effect that I use all that much, but I do appreciate how much it can enhance your tone when used in the right context. So today we'll take a closer look at the Blue Hippo itself, as well as the chorus effect in general. We'll hear some tones from the pedal, as well as looking at a couple of examples of how guitarists have used chorus to great effect in the past, as well as looking at a couple of different, more unexpected ways that you can use chorus and vibrato in your rig. And as always, to help you find exactly what you're looking for, all sections of the video will be in the timestamps below, but apart from that, let's just get into it. A Bucket Brigade driven analog chorus and vibrato, the original Blue Hippo was first released in the late 90s, but recently reissued in this Mark III form as part of the new Way Huge Small series. Originally inspired by the CE2, Way Huge founder George Trips took the electrical scaffolding of the boss even further, but in a different direction. The Blue Hippo's sound is defined by its thicker, gooier tone, which stands apart from its competitors, which are voiced to have a much brighter shimmer and cleaner highs. This warmer tone comes as a result of a slight mid frequency boost in its voicing, which is most obvious when in vibrato mode as that removes 100% of the dry signal altogether, and as a result of this you'll often hear guitarists talk about how well this pedal sits in a mix. It's also incredibly simple to use with just three controls, two knobs, speed controlling the rate of the modulation, depth controlling the blend of the wet and dry and overall level of the effect, and one toggle which swaps between the vibrato and chorus functions. So now we know a little more about the pedal itself, let's hear some tones and check out a couple of classic examples of the use of both the chorus and vibrato effect. And now we've heard some tones, let's take a closer look at a couple of different and more unexpected ways that you can use the Blue Hippo in your rig. First up, and starting with the chorus setting, with its deeper and richer voicing, the Blue Hippo is perfect for channeling that 70s swirling univibe kind of sound that Hendrix first made famous. And this is also the perfect opportunity to show how well the Blue Hippo pairs with other drive pedals, or in this case specifically, fuzz. <laughs> Secondly, setting the chorus to a faster rate swirls in an almost Leslie-like fashion. This adds fantastic depth to clean tones and is actually the exact way that Joe Bonamassa uses the Blue Hippo side in his signature Penny Saver Royale pedal. <laughs> Mm. 
Moving on to the vibrato function, this next setting comes from Josh Scott of JHS. He recommends setting the vibrato to a very shallow setting and leaving it always on, as this adds a fantastically subtle character and dimension to your tone that's almost unnoticeable. And lastly, per the words of George Trips himself, by setting the vibrato to a slower rate, you can emulate a very similar effect to that of a Bigsby bridge. The Blue Hippo is undoubtedly a fantastic chorus with a great amount of depth and complexity. And the vibrato mode is also a very welcome addition as you'd be hard pressed to find a bucket brigade driven vibrato that sounds this good at this price range. The mid frequency boost in the voicing, however, for me has both positive and negative effects. For the positives, the voicing does tame some of the higher frequencies, which on certain choruses can become quite harsh and grating. It takes pedals before and after it amazingly well, and it sits fantastically in a mix. For the negatives, however, I do struggle with it sounding a little bit muddy. Sometimes I want a little bit more clarity in the effect, but the biggest issue that I've faced is the seeming noise jump that occurs when I engage the pedal. Now I've passed people debating whether or not this is an actual volume boost or just a sort of illusion of the mid frequency hump in the voicing, but to my ears it's a combination of both. I play into a clean amp with a very high headroom, and if I'm playing with any form of drive, if I engage the Blue Hippo, there is a very significant and noticeable volume jump to the point where it goes from being comfortable to listen to to almost deafening. And this really is a shame because I genuinely like basically everything about this pedal. Beyond the effects themselves, the size, the simplicity and the convenience of the Blue Hippo, especially in this newer form, is awesome. But the noise jump is just a little bit too much for me and honestly that might be a deal breaker. But that is about everything for today guys and as always I hope there was something useful for you in this video, something you were able to learn from. If so, do let me know but also let me know if you have a chorus or even a blue hippo, which settings are your favourite and how you use it in your rig. Drop a comment below or shoot me a message over on my Instagram which is linked in the description because I would genuinely love to hear from you. But otherwise guys, thanks for watching, thanks for doing all the usual business to help support my channel and my videos, thanks for sticking around to the end and I will see you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm.